What's up guys, it's your girl Leisha Lush and I'm back. It's B to the, L to the, K to the, London. I am back with another BLK series, episode, whatever you want to call it, I'm back. I've made the choice to make BLK into this like, anytime I'm talking about spirituality, anytime I'm talking about Black Lives Matter, anytime, anytime I'm talking about me and my peoples, we're just going to put BLK London at the end of it, period. So today I'm going to be talking about spirituality. As I said in my I'm quitting YouTube video, I'm going to be talking about more spiritual stuff, do you understand? Getting to know you guys on a more spiritual level. <laughs> I haven't wrote nothing down, I'm going to be so honest, but I just came up with this topic in my head. I was going between a video talking about why I'm a roster and then sperm re retention. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, retention from a woman's view. I think I'm going to be talking about sperm retention, I'm not going to lie, because the roster thing here i think that i need to do it with somebody but i mean i know if them want to do the video with me so uh, that might never ever come out until that person agrees to do it with me because yeah anyway um <laughs> you guys don't even know what's going up here <laughs> they're gonna love things i'm gonna be talking about the sperm retention from a woman's a woman's perspective a black woman's perspective all right so I got this idea from a man called Foster Ebay. Manu set him do a lot of like spiritual videos. Um and uh, one of the videos that I first like when I went onto his YouTube, these this one of the first videos that I saw him talk about sperm retention. If retention you not know how I am with my pronunciations, I can't pronounce anything. Sperm retention is basically when a man doesn't have sexual intercourse and does not masturbate <laughs> all my young viewers please get off the video you can't hear this well you can because i know a lot of you little boys are mm, but stop right here this is not this is why you lot should even listen to this because i have a lot of info of what you lot need to know and what these rappers are putting into your heads and you just need to okay stay it's all right stay 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 sperm attention is basically like i said you don't have sexual intercourse and you don't masturbate if you can hear any noise it's my mother and my sister barking so like i'm so sorry but anyway um yeah so yeah so a man does not like basically doesn't let out any sperm basically and some people may say like oh so what is he gonna get blue balls if we don't know what blue balls is so just go and search it up i'm not gonna say yeah go and search it up now um but no, I don't think they do. I don't. I haven't even asked Foster like what is it about and whatever, whatever. I kind of listened to what he said, but like all I know is for him, it's great. For others, it's great. Like I really haven't heard of any man that is going through that and has said, "Oh my gosh, I nearly died." <laughs> I think in order to do sperm attention, you you've got to have a good ma mindset as well as a good physical state. As well as you're eating right, you're drinking a lot of water, and you just know the remedies you get. From a woman's point of view, I salute any man that has decided to go through sperm retention, especially if you're not married. Like a lot of these boys be messing around with different girls every single day. If you can see my bra, I'm actually so sorry. But anyway, messing around with different girls every single day, letting any girl and any girl um see their sperm and like all of that like it's not nice it's not cute for all you boys that like to do that they like to be community penis it's not nice and it's not cute like keep your sperm and your penis to yourself because there's a lot of girls out here that are demonic that have bad spirits that do not understand you as a person more or less your sperm which comes from inside of you which is literally made by you and the things that you put inside of yourself and then you're just gonna let it out to anybody and anybody that same sperm can create a life and you're letting other women just touch it and feel it and all them stuff Ugh. it doesn't even sound right when i say it so why would you engage in an action that can lead to that thing do you get what i'm saying i really think that men should think before they do things i think a lot of men out here i don't know what's stronger than them act like say their mother never brought bring them up to think before them do things your mother never tell you sit down think before you got 
with our next girl think no you're not here that you you just you just do what you're doing and 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 not like see the consequences before you even um decide to act in a certain way like when i told you a lot of females me myself i'm a female me see them female there i'm not one of them because i know i said that them really mad yeah you let like boys and men having doing stuff with with other girls that are not okay in their heads it can really really it's death it can be detrimental to your life do you understand for example say if you meet a girl you like her you lot such as talking next thing you know you lot sit in the bed together that girl can have a really demonic spirit like i'm talking she can be wicked bad i'm talking she could have just hurt somebody somebody so bad you know that same karma that she is like that same karma she has in her life can actually transfer onto you like correct me if i'm wrong to all my spiritual people out there correct me if i'm wrong but i generally feel like every single spiritual um spiritual connection she has with other people can now reside onto you and the same goes for you. Every spiritual connection you have felt over the, your, your years, yeah? Any consequences, any karma, anything can literally go onto, onto her. Because sexual intercourse is a very spiritual um, act. And that is why it says in the Bible, I'm not a Christian, but I do read the Bible because the Bible is a lesson of, is, is a book of lessons, you get it? It says literally, God says, do not have sexual intercourse before marriage because what's the point that same that's why that's why in marriage you get married to one person you stay at that one person because that's the only person you're going to be exchanging spiritual um spiritual energy with that one person and you know them wholeheartedly that's why you only share your sperm your um what's what's the women's one i don't know what women what comes out of us i don't know what that is your sperm and whatever whatever with that woman with that woman that's the only person because it's like you know her you know her spirit you know who she is or you wouldn't have married her most of these girls that you're doing it with you're never gonna marry them you know that as well but you still want to decide to have sexual intercourse it doesn't make sense to me babe it don't make sense now don't look at me like i'm like i'm an angel because i'm really not like i'm getting there but i'm not like i've done what i've did i've made mistakes however i am i've acknowledged my mistakes and now i'm trying to help you <laughs> i'm already free do you understand i'm trying to help you yeah so listen to what i'm saying and don't try and feel like i'm not trying to attack none of you boys I'm just trying to get you educated, do you understand? I'm just trying to open your eyes a bit. Most of these girls that you're doing stuff with, that's why whenever you break up with them, whenever you did, you told them, like, look, this is a one-time thing. They get so emotional because they've now emotionally connected with you because you've allowed them to share their spiritual energy with you by having sexual intercourse. Nobody has time for that. That is annoying. That is toxic. And it shouldn't be going on. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? I think people need to understand that when it comes to sexual intercourse, it's deep, yeah? Especially men, it's deep. That's why so many men have decided to do sperm retention because it really saves them from ruining their life. Remember, having sexual intercourse can turn into AIDS, can turn into HIV, can turn into gonorrhea, can turn into, um, what's the other one? Gonorrhea, chlamydia, and it also can turn into a, a life, a beautiful baby. Yes, if the baby might be beautiful, but the parenting can be absolute shite. And therefore, the baby turns out to be a murderer. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, there's so many factors when it comes to sexual intercourse. And that's why men, there's men out here now that are avoiding it and are waiting until they are married to the perfect woman so that that can be the only person that they decide to share their spiritual connection with, their energy that they have whelmed up. Imagine all of that, all of that spiritual energy that you have saved because you are not letting it out into worthless women you saved it all up and you're going to give it into that one person that one woman do you know how beautiful that marriage will be guys that marriage will be powerful and 
I'm speaking it to men because I want them to know like you don't need to be giving yourself to women that are worthless and women that don't care about you because there's a lot of there's a lot of demonic women out here trust me I'm talking about the women that are even demonic to the, to other women like women that can hurt other women because there's a lot of black women out here that really really make other black women suffer are jealous of them envy them don't like them for no reason you lots are disgusting and you lots need to sort yourself out yes I'm talking to you babes sort your life out babe because you can't be doing that we should all love each other especially the women and we should love our black men too and that's on period anyway instead of you giving yourself to people keep yourself to yourself you know when people say oh yeah i love myself i don't believe you because i know you're masturbating every night do you understand i know you're going out to parties and having one night stands and all them things there like i said i'm not perfect but i'm not doing what you're doing honey and i can put that on myself i am not doing what you're doing so please we're not in the same caliber we're not in the same status we're not in the same status babe i'm not doing what you're doing i'm not partying every night and i can say that do you get it like it's the same as not being an, uh, not drinking alcohol not smoking that like. stop doing stuff that are going to in the long run hurt you do you understand alcohol and smoking hurts you in the long run as in like physically um letting out your sperm all the time girls having se sexual intercourse all the time with other men that is going to hurt you in the long run spiritually do you understand it's going to damage your spiritual energy it's literally going to damage it when i say damage i mean damage you're not even going to know that you have a soul you understand you're not even going to know that you are you're gonna you're gonna feel feed into your flesh more than your soul and i'm sorry but that is not the right way to go babe <laughs> you can't die just thinking you're a flesh like you need to die knowing that there's you have a soul that is not going to ever die do you understand it's not ever going to leave it's always going to be free and especially to free up your soul as well that is a blessing so that's basically my um i don't know if i was waffling or if i was talking sense but that's basically my take when it comes on to sperm retention because i really think that a lot of boys men should really look at it and really see it as a blessing um and try and do it because it really helps like that woman for you is out there just like same how women feel like oh yeah i don't think there's a man out there for me because they've been in so many failed relationships and whatever whatever there's men out there that feel the same they feel like i'm beating this girl i'm piping this girl nothing's coming out of it there's somebody out there for you do you understand like me myself i used to think there was no one out there for me like i'm not gonna tell you there is or there isn't but <laughs> i used to think there was no one no one out there for me but Joe works in mysterious space, you understand? When you show him you deserve, he will give. When you ask, you shall receive, do you understand? So I think that people should stop rushing into things. This flesh, it's just there for, for show, you understand? What really matters is what's inside of you, what you put into your body. I will encourage, if, I'm, if you are going to do sperm retention, please reach out to people that are doing it. When it comes to us women, there's nothing really to it, babe, like, it's not that hard keep your legs close and go about your business it's really not that hard for men on the other hand because they have that sexual urge they are normal sexual beings women are as well but i know we can we can like we can maintain it i don't know if these women out here that really need to be piping tom dick and harry like i don't know what's wrong with you girls go and see a therapist however men I can give you the benefit of the doubt because I know it's very hard for you lots. Especially if you have all over social media rappers talking about, yeah, I want to pipe this one. Yeah, that go with a big back. Yeah, that go with a big breast. Yeah, I want to pipe. I want to do this. I want to that. I want to eat her. Do you get it? Like, if that's all you're listening to, if that's all you're feeding into, you're going to obviously want to join in. Babes, you are not a follower. You are a leader. You are a lion to understand you don't do them things there if you feel like it's not the right life for you then baby boy do what you're gonna do and keep that sperm to yourself what did i say keep that sperm to yourself and that's on period i think that's all i've got to say when it comes to this topic i hope you lots understand what i'm saying i hope you lots take in what i'm saying i hope you lots think don't think that i'm just waffling and like, actually listen to me when i'm talking because this is for you do you understand this is for you lots i love you lots so much mwah, 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 mwah. i hope you enjoyed the video remember to like comment and subscribe that is subscribe 
like and comment turn on your post notifications if you haven't already i hope you have an amazing morning afternoon evening wherever you are remember stay blessed love peace prosperity loyalty and respect remember guys my socials are here and they will be in the description as well add me up on instagram at miss.lush underscore underscore add me on snapchat real underscore 30 if you guys have any questions or anything then just ask i'm an open book <laughs> literally but yeah peace and oh God, that man, that